What's up everybody? Jill here. Welcome back to Whispering Willow Farm. Here is my better half. Hey guys. We are actually going to head out into the garden. This is the first peak of sunshine I have seen all week. It has been such a gross spring break. Rain, rain, yep. storm, winds. Um, I've literally just been like taking cover when feeding animals. So. Now that I see sunshine, I have some stuff that needs to get transplanted out. Uh, Nathan just got off of a conference call. It's like dinner time, but here we are. We're gonna do a little bit of work before. Promise we're, we're gonna feed our kids. When I say dinner time, it it's 5.30. We're used to eating dinner early, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. is we're like early eaters, um, especially when school's in session. Uh, my kids are early risers, so like six o'clock sharp, they're up, no matter how late they go to bed. Mm -hmm. And we were really dealing with some grumpy kiddos. So we try to have the kids in bed by like 7.30, 7.45. Yeah. So we have to do dinner early so we can do bath time. Now we won't be this strict in the summer. I know all y'all are thinking, Lord have mercy and Peyton, she has her own uh, bedtime. She doesn't have to go to bed that early. but. For the little toots. June, you wanna come say, wanna hi? say hi? Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> Tell everybody hi. Hi. What are we about to go do? Um, go in the garden. And what are we gonna do in the garden? Um, plant. Mm-hmm. June be a good helper. She's a good listener when she wants to be, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Daddy, are you gonna Daddy. come with us? Uh -huh. All right, go find your shoes, okay? Yeah, where's your boots? It's, where's your it's, shoes? It's muddy out there. All right, you find her shoes and I guess I'll meet you down there, okay? Uh, many of you guys had comments about our decapitated uh, tomatoes. I did actually uh, bring them inside so they could kind of recoup <laughs> uh, after I literally shocked the mess out of them. So. Uh, good feedback, like I said, if you guys have any further questions, Sean did a video um, really kind of answering all of that. So I've been kind of funneling people to his channel um, since he's done this several times and I was just kind of a guinea pig. I remembered, I have no idea where I'm planting anything. We wrote all this down on crop plans, so I ran back inside real quick to grab my iPad. I'm pretty sure I uploaded... You guys know I use Good Notes. It's what I do a lot of my um, garden planning and things like that. And you can also upload photos. So I'm pretty sure I have uploaded a photo of my crop plant. So we're just gonna take this with us uh, down to the garden. That way I know where I need to transplant everything out to. All right, so here I have it. And essentially what I did was I uploaded our crop plan into this Good Notes app. And then I was able to kind of change some things around. You guys can see I just used my little pencil to write it out. So this is spring 2022. Um, and now I kind of know where I'm at. We're going to be planting um, the small beds by uh, the pavilion. And so I have planted already beets and carrots um, to on the back side of the pavilion, which I'll just walk down there and show you guys. And then I had Charlie plant the onions the other day. I'm not sure if y'all remember that. So it's the bed across from that, that we're gonna be planting out some brassicas, um, some lettuce, and some spinach. So a ton more of these apricot impression tulips have started to bloom since our last video. So that's exciting. The garden's a little crazy right now. Junie B, what you doing? Are you playing? I'm looking at all the seeds. You're looking at all the seeds? Uh -huh. Those are roses. I like all the roses. Are they pretty? All right, so this is the bed we're gonna be planting in. Uh, here's where we did the onions. All of this are just oregano. And then you guys can see the clematis that we cut back is starting to already climb. So that's really, really encouraging. I'm not sure what variety of clematis is uh, planted there, but I know that it's its third year. Um, it was stunning last year. And usually clematis is one of the first thing that blooms in the spring. So it'll be nice to kind of have pops of color earlier in the spring before everything else is really starting to bloom yet. I had a minor freak out moment. I'm walking down here to the seed starting tunnel and I don't know if this is just all dogs. Like I don't notice that our blue healer does this, 
but like our great pyrenees is will lay out and you just think that they're dead i mean i'm like staring at them for like 10 minutes and i swear there's no way they're alive and i looked and dahlia was out there just like laid out in the field and i walked up to her or to the fence she didn't move I'm trying to see if i can like see her stomach go up and down nothing and i'm like oh my gosh so I had to take a minor break and run into the chicken coop. All is fine, Dolly is fine. She's just sunbathing. So Nathan just picked some asparagus from the cottage garden. These are, gosh, do you remember? I think these are two or three year crowns. Mm -hmm. But that means we should be rocking and rolling in asparagus production this year. These are beautiful. Look how stunning that is. So you guys just keep munching away. It wasn't enough to. It wasn't enough for dinner. So it's just fresh munching. Snack. All right, so what we are planting out today is a couple of these. These are tiara cabbage, they're just these personal little cabbage. Uh, you may think, why on earth are you planting cabbage? You are overrun. Uh, you would be correct. So we're not planting very many of these, mainly just this smaller variety. Oh, um, help you. Hang on. These are so good. Are they? And then we are planting out some kohlrabi. You gonna show it? Say, that's my cabbage. That's my cabbage. Good job, Juni. Will you hold that? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's okay. So the kohlrabi, we are growing uh, primarily for ferments. I ferment kohlrabi for Nathan. Uh, last year, I think, was the first year I didn't grow it. You want to look at the camera? Okay, this is the Junie vlog. All right, tell them. Say that's Dino Kale. That's Dino Kale. Mm hmm <laughs> So this year we're growing. I think we ended up having almost no, 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 20 no. plants. No. So last year was, I think the first year in several years we didn't go grow kohlrabi. Uh, we are usually just growing it to ferment it. We cut it up in these sticks and ferment it just like we would our radishes, and it tastes... Uh, so really, good. really good. The kids enjoy it as a snack. We have made uh, like hash browns out of it. We've made um, like mashed potatoes out of it. it we kind of would eat it if we were eating it fresh like we would a potato. Yeah. Um, but super, super good. So Nathan definitely wanted those in the mix this year. So we started some of those a while ago. And then I've got some spinach and lettuce uh, that's going to go out, which is actually looking pretty good. I'll grab some and show you. So here is some of the lettuce that we did in these little mini blocks. And as you can see, they're kind of like the perfect size just to transplant out now. So we didn't actually have to up pot them. It's cooler, like we don't have rain the next few days, but it's not supposed to be super, super bright. Um, so it's kind of the perfect time uh, to transplant these out. All right, so I made it down to the raised bed garden. All of my uh, lettuce and spinach, we're actually gonna transplant out into the green stock. I'm gonna add some more uh, soil in it. That's something I do recommend is you'll notice, I mean, I keep this outside. And so the rain and everything, it's kind of had the soil settle um, a couple inches. And so what I'll do is just go through, add some fresh soil. I will go ahead and probably add a good fertilizer. Um, that is something that I've noticed that the green stalks thrive with is just some added fertilizer. I do it about once every few weeks. I um, mean, I keep it all out in the greenhouse, so it's pretty easy uh, just to add some fertilizer to it. But our spinach and lettuce is gonna go in here. I'm gonna be starting some more uh, spinach and lettuce and it'll keep going in here. We have plenty of green stalks to fill out, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, we started that kind of early and we'll just throw it in here. But back behind me is where I'm gonna be planting the cabbage and the kohlrabi. Um, I have actually misplaced my hori hori. I've been looking for it for probably a month now and I have no idea where I put it. I'm beginning to think I might have like, I don't know, lent it out or something. So I've got my dibbler just so I can uh, know how far to space them. Uh, my dibbler only goes to seven inches, uh, but it's gonna be a good guide. I'll probably plant my kohlrabi about, I don't know, nine, 10 inches apart. Um, and so this will kind of be a good reference. Our soil is super um, wet right now because it's been raining. So I'm just gonna use my trusty little hands uh, to dig deep um, and plant them in there. So I do actually have something that I wanna talk to you guys about. Um, I have been keeping a little secret from you guys. 
and I am pretty excited uh, that I get to tell you if you are a part of our uh, email newsletter then you already know this news if you're not I'm gonna leave it in the description below we'd love for you guys to sign up for our newsletter it's just an opportunity for you to be the first to know what's going on um, usually there's always something a little special that our email community gets uh, that either everyone else doesn't or maybe you know stuff first uh, but we do try to cater to that community we really do appreciate you guys uh, being a part of that but I announced it a few weeks ago and I thought it was probably time uh, to announce it to the rest of our YouTube family because I have been working on this uh, for quite a while. I'm actually going to uh, call Nathan and have him come down here because uh, he's been a huge supporter in this. It's been so hard uh, keeping this secret from you guys. But I just wasn't really at liberty uh, to tell y'all. And so now I have the green light to share a little bit. Um, and so I'm going to do just that. All right. I'm waiting on him to come down here. You guys can see I'm just kind of gauging here a little bit. Um, I started these in those little bitty mini blocks, which was 20 to a little block. And then I up potted them into these two and a half inch pots. So something else I wanted to hit on real quick while we're waiting for Nathan to come down here. Uh, usually I transplant out my stuff uh, in the morning, uh, but it's okay. You guys can see the sun's gone down. We're probably in the 50s right now. Um, our soil super saturated and wet. Um, so usually I'm doing it early in the mornings, later in the evening, depending on the weather. Um, but these guys are pretty established, as you can see. We got some good uh, roots on them established. So I'm totally comfortable uh, with transplanting these out right now. All right, I got those planted. Here, we'll come up under the pavilion. So I planted about half the bed. Like I said, I planted them about 10 inches apart uh, and then two inches apart. All right, we had to make our way into the greenhouse because it was way too noisy out there. All right, you got the pigs fed. Piggies are fed. I got the kohlrabi planted. I still have got the cabbage to plant. I got to move some drip around. Um, like I said, everything's good and saturated, so I don't really think I'm going to have to worry about watering them tonight. But if the sun comes out tomorrow, definitely give them a good soak until we kind of get... I think we got like three inches of rain over the last two days. I've been babying and catering to them, though. Like, they cannot die. Yeah. You can't just go buy kohlrabi starts at anywhere really even at like our um plant sale i don't know anyone that starts those and sells them it's true so unless i started them from seed you're kind of just out of luck yeah all right so i told them that i've been keeping a secret no i'm not For pregnant no 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 gosh could you imagine though if that's how i told you if i was ever pregnant lord don't worry okay i'm not pregnant that is not what this video is about <laughs> Nathan's like, are you about to surprise me here? My it's so weird because that's not even the mindset that I'm in. So when I think, oh my gosh, I have a secret to tell you, having a baby doesn't even pop up in my head. You know what I mean? Because yeah. one, I know the secret. Good thing. But then two, that's just not even where my headspace is. So I don't ever think about that. Um, so sorry for those of you who might have thought that that, was, that that is this. That's not it. Um, so I have been working on a project for... Gosh. Long time. <clears throat> we are coming up this spring, I think will be about a year. Um, I actually was scrolling through my phone the other day and saw a really sweet memory um, of this. And so it's a really raw, emotional. Um, I got this email, just felt like super bombarded with all of the feels. Um, and I ended up getting in my car and driving somewhere. <laughs> 
And that's something that I do any monumental thing that happens that we've been praying for or believing for or dreaming for. Um, I immediately turn on my phone and I start recording it because I always want to remember how I felt in that moment. Um, and I remember when we hit 10,000, we were actually farm setting for Jess and Maya. And I was cross-legged in their kitchen, which is now our kitchen. And just like tears were flowing. I was so thankful and just like couldn't believe that we had done this thing. Um, and I remember, you know, turning on my camera and just being like, whoa, like I want to always remember uh, how this feels right now. And so I also did this when this moment came up. And so I am so excited to tell you guys officially uh, that I am writing a book. And have been writing a book. And have a been writing a book for almost... I don't think it's been quite a year, but we're coming up on a year and I will tell you it has been the hardest thing I have ever done and I have done some hard things. Um, I'm finally where I can kind of keep you guys in the loop a little bit. Um, my hands are still kind of tied as far as a lot of the information I can give out, but I have been telling you guys I've been working on a project and I want to finally let you guys know uh, what it is. I am chipping away at it. I am working hard. I feel so good about it. It was something that has always been a dream of mine. And I know that I'd shared that with Nathan a, a, a few times. And I don't really know what your reaction was uh, when I told you I wanted to write a book. I knew that if you put your mind to something, you're going to do it. <laughs> um, I just didn't know that it was going to be so soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So funny enough, uh, when we lived at our old farm, I was taking a shower one day. And sometimes you just have to get in your quiet time when you can get it in. And that day it looked like well, I was taking a shower. And I remember just praying and I don't even know at the time what it was uh, that I was praying for or, or anything like that but I remember hearing from God that day um, and I remember feeling in my spirit uh, one that I was going to write a book and two what the title of that was going to be and I remember getting out of the shower soaking wet still and I told I don't even remember how I told you I remember well what did I say you basically <laughs> got out of the shower and you told me hey babe i'm gonna write a book i don't know what it's about but i've got the title for you yeah like the title came to you before the book the title came to me before the book and dreamer realist I, nathan just you know gave me that nod okay babe that's cool um <laughs> and i do distinctively remember his reaction on that and so what did i do i got my journal and i wrote it out and i dated it I'm actually going to find that um, and I'm going to pop a photo in here. I do think it's very, very important. I talk to you guys about this a lot. Write down your dreams. Write down what you're chasing after. Um, because for me, this has been something that I've wanted to do for a long time. And I felt like God gave me the affirmation that I would do it, but I still didn't know when. But I hung on to the fact that, you know what, one day, someday, uh, this is going to be, ha this is going to happen. And what a cool uh, thing that's going to be when I can come back and refer to this moment uh, where I felt inspired and got the title of the book. So it feels really good to finally have this information out into the world. We have had photographers on our farm. We have been working away. It's kind of odd uh, riding a farm when you're transitioning in between farms. And so we, I started writing the book when we lived at our old farm and then we're transitioning to this farm. I'm still writing it. Um, and so if you guys would just, if you think about me, send some encouragement. Like I said, this is definitely um, kind of out of my wheelhouse as far as things that I do. Um, I've never written a book before, so it's definitely been challenging, but I know it's going to be so rewarding, and my hope and my prayer is that it's going to touch so many people, um, and so I'm excited to share with you guys more about this journey um, as I am allowed to tell and show uh, more with you, but I appreciate you encouraging me. Nathan's been there like, you got it, babe. You can do it, um, but when you are running a business and working full-time, I think that's kind of been what I've been trying to navigate uh, the most is like finding time to sit down and do something when I like to be out doing the things. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm working hard on it, but I am real excited just to be able to share this with you guys. Stay tuned. Uh, we will be releasing more information probably in the next few months. That's right. And for those of you that have or signed up for our newsletter, you already knew this. I know. I told them there are perks okay. to being a part of our community. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now the secret is out. It feels good. Um, I've had some people guess, I've had some people message me and ask, 
and I I haven't said anything so that was like a weight off my chest now you guys officially know all of our business you guys know everything that's going on on the farm <laughs> not quite everything there's still a couple more secrets there are a couple However, more secrets but stay, we're, we're holding on to those that's right <laughs> stay tuned I, I've got news that I hadn't even shared with Jill yet oh um, are about, you pregnant I'm just kidding yeah <laughs> about one of our other things that we've been working on so yeah and I just want to take this opportunity you guys know I am a dreamer and I know some of you guys might watch our channel and just be like oh honey you know and that's even what Nathan says to me sometimes it's oh, like honey. oh honey <laughs> there is so much value in just believing in yourself and that what you have to offer is worth offering um, and I know I spent a lot of years not living up to my fullest potential not because anyone else but because of the limits I put on myself and finally it was just this moment in my life where I was like no like I am in charge of what I can achieve and if I set my mind to it, I can do it and I want to impact people in a way that's meaningful. Um, and that may not look like impacting the most people. I'd rather impact a smaller amount of you guys and it actually hold weight uh, that influence the whole world and people just don't even listen to what I have to say. And so I just want to encourage you guys, if you are dreaming for something, write it down. There is value in that. Share it with someone. Have someone hold you accountable to those things. Um, and also just ask God to pour into you. He may be calling you to something that you don't know anything about, um, but if you just ask him, maybe you'll figure out what it is. But know that we are praying for you guys this week. We hope that you send us some encouragement back as I'm in the thick of finishing um, my final manuscript uh, so I need all the prayers I can get <laughs> this week uh, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with us hopefully Nathan will tell me his secrets so we can share them with you guys pretty soon That's right. anything else that's all I got that's all we got all right thanks guys we'll talk to you soon bye guys